Singapore sprinter Timothy Yap may not have won any medals in Rio, but he did get to fulfil a dream. When the starting lists for the 100 metres were drawn, he found himself in the same heat as Usain Bolt. And earlier this week, he spoke to us about what it would be like to race against the world's fastest man. So you're in the 100 metres, which is the premier event of all the Olympics. Uh, you train all these years for um, for a race that only lasts a matter of seconds. So um, how do you prepare yourself mentally for something like that? Um, for the 100 metres, I'm not going to focus too much that like, I, like I'm at the Olympic Games. I'm just going to take it with within my stride. As I'm going to treat it like it's any other race and just go out and do my best, go out fast, go out hard and keep my best shot. Do you set yourself a goal in terms of a p running a particular time or reaching a different stage of the competition or do you not set goals and just let the process take care of itself? Um, I've set two goals and which I agree with my coach so the first goal is to make it to the second round and uh, another goal is to clock a personal best. So my current personal best is uh, 1062 uh, which I achieved two months ago in Portugal so I'm looking forward to running 10.55 uh, around there. Have you thought about the prospect of what it would be like to race against Usain Bolt? Oh, he's like my, my biggest sporting idol. It's going to be insane if I get a race with him. Um, I actually took a photo of him and I was already like a bit starstruck. So to be able to race with him, I really got to focus on my race and like not care about him. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to hope I get to race with him. It's going to be an awesome experience. So you mentioned you've learnt things while you're here. What sort of things have you learnt from seeing other athletes from different countries? So the past few days I've been training and sparring with sprinters from US, Canada, uh, Southeast Asian nations and other Asian countries. So one thing I've learned is that a few, there, are, there are a few things that I've learned. So like they warm up very differently from us and like they have very different starting block techniques and different, very different drills and I think these are some of the things I can bring back to my coach and share with him and then we see what we can do and incorporate into our training. So hopefully this will help me in the, ne in the next coming few years. Yeah. And tell me, you, you're a law student and uh, ongoing law student. Um, are, you doing, are you catching up on study while you're here as well or is everything about the games? So actually my school just started like uh, earlier this week so I'll, I'll be missing two weeks of school. But for now, prior to my race, I'm, I'm going to be mainly focused on, on competing and doing my best. And after that, then we can start worrying about the academic side of things. Yeah. What do you think that you know, your journey and the hard work you've put in, what sort of message does that give to any other young kid in Singapore who might dream of going to the Olympics one day? I guess it's that um, don't be too focused on the result. I mean, just follow your passion. Just give in your all every time you train. Yeah, and, um, just do your best all the time and the results will follow. Yeah, if, it, if, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Have you been able to sort of um, think about what you want to do on the road ahead? I think uh, for a short term goal is the next, next year's SEA Games. Um, personally, I think that I would like to win a medal in the 4x100 relay because Singapore has always been really strong in that event so we want to continue that tradition. Uh, for the individual 100 meters, I hope to improve my technique a bit because I've learned a lot from the Olympics and I hope to be able to run a lot faster next year. And also next year there's the World University Games. So it's like, a, it's like another mini Olympics, so I hope to be able to go for the event. Thank you very much for joining us, Tim, and uh, sharing your story with Singaporeans. Well, I hope you enjoyed meeting Singapore's 100 metre specialist at the Rio Olympics and looking forward to meeting more members of the team at the Games.